Hey, it's Jeff everyone. On today's Disney Roundup, I have a complete list of festivities that you can take in at this year's Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. A teaser trailer was just released for Pixar's upcoming film, Soul, and Disney Plus is already having some issues on its first day. I have all that more coming up right here on the DRU. <laughs> Hey everyone and welcome to the Disney Roundup where I bring you up to date on what's going on with the Walt Disney Company and Disney Parks each and every single week. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me so you can stay up to date with the Disney Roundup and check out some other cool videos that I'll be posting. In fact, this week along with this week's episode of the Disney Roundup, I will be posting another video of going through Disney Plus for the very first time and seeing what is all on there. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me and look for that video in the future as well. And just a reminder, you can also download the Disney Roundup on podcasts. You can download the Disney Roundup on Apple Podcasts and on Spotify. Starting off with company news, the day has finally come and Disney Plus is finally here. Unfortunately though for Disney Plus, many users have experienced some issues with Disney Plus already and that being clicking on content and trying to stream some of the content, you will get an error message that pops up that reads as the following. It'll read as, sorry something went wrong. I've seen this for a couple of things I've seen some things will load up and pop up and work I've noticed it works better if you use a incognito or a private window but yes this is very disappointing um, from Disney especially from all the weight all the build up for this and on opening day this already is experiencing some issues so, but if you've experienced some of these issues or some other issues let me know in the comments down below because this is the only one I've seen so far but yes let me know in the comments down below if you've experienced any of these and just over this past week we received the first official teaser trailer for disney's and pixar's upcoming film soul and of course we covered a little bit about this during the d23 expo during one of my d23 recap videos but we now have the first teaser trailer for this movie so Disney and Pixar's Soul will be opening in theaters on June 19th in 2020. The film is directed by two-time Academy Award winner Pete Docter and co-directed by Kent Powers and produced by Academy Award nominee Dana Murray. Soul introduces Joe Gardner, a middle school band teacher whose true passion is playing jazz. In the film, just when Joe thinks his dream might be in a reach, a single unexpected step sends him to a fantastical place where he's forced to think again about what it truly means to have a soul. That's where he meets his ultimately teams up with 22, a soul who doesn't think life on earth is all it's cracked up to be. Jamie Foxx leads the role and the voice of playing Joe and Tina Fey voices the character, his sidekick character of 22. Too. But I'm really looking forward to this movie. I'm glad Pixar has started to go back to making original content, which is where I believe they thrive off from. But this movie looks really good. If you're excited to watch Soul when it comes out in theaters, let me know in the comments down below because I think this will be another classic hit from Pixar. Now for outside of the parks news. You can now get Magic Band Slap Bands at Walt Disney World and on Shop Disney. Yes, we are now taking a trip back to the 90s where slap bands were a thing where they're just like those little bracelets and when you kind of like like smack them or squeeze them or bend them across your wrist or anything they fold together and form um like a close grip on your wrist or whatever you put it on but yes you can now get slap bands at walt disney world like i mentioned or on shop disney starting november 12th they come in a variety of characters including the Fab Five, Stitch, the Orange Bird, Frozen, and I assume more are yet to come. United Airlines has just debuted yet another Star Wars themed airplane. So if you're planning a trip to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge in celebration two of the upcoming Star Wars film, The Rise of the Skywalker, you might want to see if you can take up on this new Star Wars themed aircraft by United Airlines. United just introduced a special Star Wars themed Boeing 737-800 aircraft featuring Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker themed 
to look and onboard experience. The new paint design captures the exotic atmosphere of Star Wars Galaxy and features imagery of iconic Star Wars spacecrafts including X-Wing and TIE Fighter starships. The aircraft's tail also displays different colored lightsabers against a black backdrop on each side, reflecting the two sides of the force. Passengers are greeted with classic Star Wars theme music during the boarding process. Watch an in-flight safety demonstration video that features characters from the new film and enjoy headrests with emblems of the Resistance and the First Order. Commemorative pins will also be distributed throughout December to celebrate the movie's premiere. And they also, Disney Parks blog released a video of some of the onboarding experience of the new Star Wars United Airlines plane. If you're interested in checking that out, I will leave a link to that full video in the description down below. Now for Parks News. Just over this past week, for the first time, Disney Parks blog went live and showed the first showing of Minnie's wonderful Christmas time fireworks at Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party this year. Guests attending Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party this year are in for a special treat and a brand new fireworks show, Minnie's Wonderful Christmas time fireworks. Disney Parks blog went live for the first showing and if you missed it I will leave a link to that in the description down below so you can check out the full show and it, it is fantastic. Of course with these shows they continue to hit them out of the park but let me know what you think of it. Do you think it's as good as Jot as Jack's Not So Spooky Spectacular during Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, or do you like Minnie's Wonderful Christmas Time Fireworks better? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also, just coming up this week, Disney Parks Live will be showing Jingle Bell Jingle Bam over at Hollywood Studios. Disney Parks Live will share a live stream of the Jingle Bell Jingle Bam Holiday Fireworks Show from Disney's Hollywood Studios this Thursday, November 14th at 8 55 p.m. Eastern Time. In case you aren't familiar with Jingle Bell, Jingle Bam is a Santa sized spectacular that's jam packed with holiday music, fireworks, special effects, and dazzling state of the art projection, which in the park buildings and rooftops come to life. Get ready to be immersed by beloved scenes from Mickey's Christmas Carol, Beauty and the Beast, Pluto's Christmas Tree, and Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas and more. To watch the live stream, simply visit Disney Parks blog on November 14th at 8.55 p.m. The stream will lead the story, which if you want to watch the streams live, you can watch them live. They usually go live on YouTube, and they're also on Facebook as well. So those are two um, good places to check out if you want to watch it live. All right, and as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, here is a list of some of the festivities you can take in at Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party this year at Walt Disney World over at the Magic Kingdom. So, let's start off with food and treats because who doesn't love, that's the most important part of these parties, right? So, um, first thing you can get is you can get a carved turkey sandwich over at Cosmic Ray's for $12.99. This looks, this looks pretty tasty. It's probably, uh, maybe, that's a decent Disney Parks price, but maybe it's a little expensive for me. Other food items you can get is a Jolly Tamale Christmas at Pecos Bills, which comes with three different tamales, and this is $11.99. And also at Pecos Bills, you can get Sven's carrot cake at Pecos Bills as well, which is $5.99, which that is definitely a little overpriced for me because over at Pecos Bills, I do enjoy Pecos Bills and their food. It's a good quick service restaurant, but their desserts, including this one, are a little always lackluster in size because there's they're just so tiny, especially like what you're paying for and what you get. But that's just me personally. And also over at Gaston's Tavern, you can get Gaston's Cheese Dipper, which is beer cheese dip with smoked bacon bits mixed and served with breadstick antlers. This goes for $5.49, and this looks really tasty as well. I can't wait to try this. I'm gonna be going to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party in the next month, so I will definitely be trying to get a hold of this because this looks really good. There's also the To Be Jolly Float at the Plaza Ice Cream Parlor, which is a Minnie Mouse inspired peppermint iced coffee and vanilla ice cream topped with crushed peppermint and a Minnie Mouse chocolate bow for $6.99. There's also the Kakamora Float at Aloha Isle, which is coconut soft serve on top of pineapple juice with blue uh, curacao. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I know it's a mixer that they use um, for like mixed drinks, but of course, this is non-alcoholic, but I think it's blue curacao syrup, 
and garnished chocolate kakamora cake pop on top of that. That is $6.99. Now, while this looks really good, and it also doesn't really come across to me as a very holiday or festive um, treat or dessert, I think this will go over really well um, during the summertime at Walt Disney World. It looks and just sounds very refreshing, but I'm not sure if it's goes for a real holiday treat or not. What else is there? There's also the Tis the Season at Cool Ship, which is a non-alcoholic beverage consisting of Fanta mixed with cranberry juice and a green apple popping pearls. This goes for $8.99. If we, we've seen these drinks before, I believe they're also over at Cool Ship where they have like the little popping pearls like they say and they, they put them in your drink and they uh, make them like bubble up and fo foam up. They look really cool, but yeah, I think that's a little expensive too, but it sounds it, it sounds good. It sounds good. There's also the Orange Bird Christmas at Sunshine Tree Terrace, which is an orange scented white chocolate mousse filled with orange curd and candied orange peel on top of a citrus almond cream. This is $5.99 over there. So that's all the exclusive party treats this year at Mickey's. Very Merry Christmas party. I'm not sure if any other treats will be coming out, but I'll be keeping out an eye for those. But let me know in the comments down below what party exclusive treat you think sounds the best for this year. Also for the party, character meets. On Main Street USA, you can meet Santa, Mickey, Jack Skellington as Sandy Claus, and Sally as well. In Adventureland, you can meet Aladdin, Jasmine, Abu, the Genie, Captain Jack Sparrow, Moana, and Peter Pan. Over in Frontierland, like as always, you can meet the country bears over there. They're usually just walking around, um, interacting with people, taking pictures, whatever. This is pretty cool, too. Over at Liberty Square, you can um, get your picture taken with Mary Poppins and Bert, who we usually don't see a whole lot of Mary Poppins in the parks, but I think that's pretty cool. Over in Fantasyland, there is a slew of characters over there. You can meet the Seven Dwarves. Donald, Scrooge McDuck, Daisy, Minnie, Santa Goofy, Timon, Doc McStuffins, Vampirina, Ariel, Prince Eric, Rapunzel, Flynn Rider, Cinderella, Prince Charming, Belle, Pooh and his friends, Snow White, Prince Aurora, Prince Philip, Elena of Avalar, Tiana and Naveen, and Tweedle D and Tweedle Dumb. And that's all over at Fantasyland. So there's a lot of characters you can meet over there. And over in Tomorrowland, you can meet Reindeer. There's reindeer and polar bears over there, which I'm not sure about that. I guess they're just um, generic reindeer and polar bears, unless there's a Disney reindeer and polar bears character that I'm not aware of. But besides them, you can meet uh, Judy Hopps and Nick Wilde are over there as well. Now for um, stage shows and entertainment throughout the nights, over at Cinderella Castle, you can catch Frozen Holiday Wish, which is the seasonal castle show which they also, they don't just exclusively show this at Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. They show this every night during the holiday season. And this, um, this there's only one showing for this, and this is at 8.15 p.m. And it, this showing is really cool. We just showed a link to it last week, and it's where Elsa lights up the castle. They do a whole stage show with all the Frozen characters. It's really cool. There's also Mickey's Most Merriest Celebration, which is the other castle show and this is for Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party and the times that this happens is at 7.40 p.m., 9.25 p.m., 10.30 p.m. and 11.55 p.m. as well. There's also of course Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas Parade and this happens twice a night during Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. This happens at 8.30 p.m. and 11 p.m. and of course Disney Pro Tip always go to the second parade if you can because it'll always be less crowded and during the first parade is a great chance to go get party treats, ride rides, or do whatever because everybody usually tends to head and get on to watch the first parade. And there's also, as we've covered this year, Minnie's wonderful Christmas time fireworks which just happens once a night and this happens at 10 p.m. So a lot of cool things happening at Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party this year. I can't wait to go and experience that this year. If you've experienced it already or if you're going this year, let me know in the comments down below and what you enjoyed the most and wh or what you're looking forward to the most at Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party this year.
All right, everyone, that's all I have for you for this week's episode of the Disney Roundup. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button for me and also subscribe to my channel to receive the Disney Roundup each and every single week. But that's all I have for you for this week's episode of the Disney Roundup. And until next time, we'll see you on the DRU.